Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mero and I teach creative people how to sell their art online. And today's gonna be a very short video. I'm gonna take you to Canva, show you something really cool that you can do because apparently you can draw on Canva and then, uh, you know, set you on your merry way to go ahead and try it yourself at home. And I was also thinking about setting up this thing and the group that we have on Facebook, there's a link to that down below. So you guys can share whatever you drew on Canva Draw. And I'm doing this while drinking coffee because I always drink coffee. And I'm drinking this from my enamel mug from Printful that if you haven't seen my latest video, I was reviewing this mug from Printful as well as the magic mug from Printful. I will leave a link to that one down below so you can go ahead and check it out. Now, before we go to my computer, I have to tell you, this is not a design with me video. I'm not gonna show you different designs that I'm doing. I'm just gonna show you how to quickly access this draw version and make sure that you know about this draw version because Canva just keeps on surprising us with more and more things. And once we do that, let's have a few days for each and every one of us to draw some cool things on their own. And yes, there will be draw with me, like design with me tutorials using Canva Draw in the next month. But for now, let's just check out how it works by making myself smaller and going into Canva where I just went in and just typed in A4. You know, just a random size because we're not really into designing anything specific right now. We just want to see how it works. And Canva Joy is going to be on the left side. It's going to be basically under more. And I have a lot of folders on my left side. Obviously, you won't have all of these or you'll have different ones. And I do have the draw version here because I've already used it. But if you haven't, just click on the three dots and more, type in draw and open draw beta Canva. And here you have a pen. I think that's pretty much self-explanatory, no? You have a marker. <laughs> We have a glow pen, which is kind of cool, and of course a highlighter. And with all of these pens and highlighters and markers, you can change your colors, you can change your sizes, you can change the transparency of these things, which is rather awesome. So I did kind of have fun with it this morning, sort of like doodling over, and I was doing it with my Wacom tablet, which is right over here. Uh, designing with this and doing this with your finger might be kind of hard. So again, I was doing this with my tablet. I think that maybe if you have it on your iPad, I need to see if Canva Draw works on an iPad. I think it would be different. And of course, you can just erase everything you're doing. You can change the size of the eraser and the transparency of the eraser, which gets me already thinking about future videos that I might want to make. Then you just have to click done. And I just want to show you some cool stuff that you might want to do with Canva Draw, like some cool design ideas. For example, I just took a clip art of a heart from Canva Elements. You could just, you know, type in search heart. It was just lying there. And then I scrolled all the way back down to my draw beta version. And I was thinking, you know, I can just draw something with it. Like I can fill the heart. They still don't have the option to drag and drop like a color or to paint the color that's inside. So for example, I can just click on it and it's gonna be red, but I can try to manually do it and try to adjust, you know, the size of the brush to zoom in, to zoom out, try and fill it in, erase the gaps on the side of it and make really cool clip art that way. I mean, it does look kind of cool in this way. It could be used, you know, we're, we're talking, we're getting into Valentine's. There's gonna be a design with me tutorial, by the way, on Valentine, which is gonna be pretty cool, but, the hard thing is kind of fun and cool to make. And once we saved that, I thought to myself, what else might be cool? Like just to give you as an idea. And I was looking into just typing in Christmas and I put a Christmas tree and I think that this could be a really cool way for some of you guys to draw coloring pages. Even though I wasn't this steady in this tutorial, I was literally holding the tablet on my lap and it just kept on shaking. But just by choosing the pen, the black pen, and going over random clip art, even photos, you can make really, really interesting coloring pages using Canva. So like printable coloring pages or sell them, you know, for print on demand on KDP or wherever it is that you want. I thought it would be a cute idea to show you guys that. I also think that if you really dive deeper into this and try to work on the details with the drawing, you can also do, for example, like draw on top of people, to create like small, like, characters of people or like illustrated portraits, personalized custom stuff. And I just thought it might be a cool idea to show that to you guys. Another thing that you can do is just, you know, write your own text. Instead of using text, I can just write down the word hello, for example, or anything else that I want. 
and try to color it within. Sort of think about it as if I'm like drawing on a desk, like drawing on an actual physical paper. It wasn't that successful to me. <laughs> I don't feel like I've done my best work here, even though the first initial one kind of looks like a really interesting abstract thing. But I do think that this is an awesome tool by Canva. Canva really has so much to offer you guys. I mean, there are so many text effects and image effects, and there were videos both about text effects and image effects on Canva in this channel, and I will leave a link to both of these down below. I would like to know, is Canva something that you like using? Are you using Canva? Are you using it to make your mock-ups? Are you using it to edit photos? Are you using it to create designs for print on demand? Please let me know in the comment section down below, as well as if you like this video. Because if you did like this video and this information, please hit that like button down below because every time you do, YouTube thinks, hey, this is a cool video. I'm going to show it to more people and subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. <sighs> I don't even know what that noise is. There are so many noises here in Bansko in the winter. I think it's like snow plows outside. But let's muddle through the noise and finish this video with just letting you know that there are a lot more design tutorials coming up in the next few weeks. Yes, with Canva Draw, as well as how to draw, for example, as a seamless pattern to be used on your print on demand with Canva Draw, as well as a lot more product reviews. So many product reviews because I'm swimming in products. So many products. But with that being said, that was it for me for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as usual, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!